Hey guys, Pat Gagliano here from Finish Basement NJ, and I'm here with Lulu, an amazing interior designer. And what we really want to talk about is the collaboration and how important is it not to design a fantastic basement, but to have a professional pick everything out and the reasons why we do certain things. So. Hi, I'm Lulu. Uh, I remember when I met Pat and we started working together when we inherited this basement, it was nothing, nothing that we could have anticipated. So when we spoke first, we saw this wall, which was a solid wall, and Pat came up with the idea that we should open it up and then uh, put barristers and all of that. So as we were moving along, you know, working with a space that has very short ceilings, and we had to come up with things that were going to open up the basement, yet make it more functional and uh, usable. Uh, space and that's when Pat came up with the idea that we remove all the rooms that were created in this basement and uh, try to make it as light as possible and more open as possible so that we can have a clean palette. Yeah, so we had a ton of columns in this basement, a lot of obstructions. We had an HVAC unit that was in a room that we'll get to in a minute that had ductwork literally right where I'm standing, it was right here. So it was necessary for us to t change the whole infrastructure of the basement and, and open it up so we can come up with a design. And with that in mind, we tried to use the many columns in this basement to our advantage uh, and using a bar with these three columns. but. But it didn't stop there because anyone could just build that bar. And then what do you do with it? And that's where Lulu came in with the design of that. You know, so we came up with the idea that how do we enhance what we inherited to make it more deliberate? So hence we picked the color to enhance them, to do a high contrast with the granite and um, the pennies that we did as a backsplash and including the wallpaper around um, the chairs so that we have different layers and different textures of um, things that were going to make this space more elaborated. Yeah, so that design just kept carrying right through. Uh, again, the challenges down here, the columns, the low ceilings, and how do you not draw attention to it, but yet come up with this beautiful design. And uh, the other things we did, but we still wanted the molding and uh, the way the molding is done on the columns and the way it's painted, the attention to detail is just unbelievable. So we had to enhance that, that every detail that we make, a simple line like that, where you, between the molding and the wall color, how do you differentiate that? Those were the very, very important details. And when you look across there, the quarter round between the crown molding, quarter round and the wall paint, paint how do you enhance that? You know, it's, it's just a little thing. Anything that is elevated, we, we put a different color. Anything that is recessed, we put a different color. So, and just to show the details of everything that was done. Yeah, so everything works and things that a um, normal homeowner, even myself, wouldn't think of with contrasting these colors together and changing the color to base. Even the, um, behind you there, we have that stone wall, which is actually wallpaper. It's just amazing. It has such a 3D look to it. It doesn't look cheap. It looks very classy. And uh, just stuff like this is just takes it basement over the top. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of the end product of what we have here. We also, um, let's see, we, we have another room in the back. And uh, we'll walk over that way as well. Where we, I, my, my classic move is creating these glass French doors and, and to open the place up. So Lulu took it to another level and... I, I did the frosted glasses. So if you have company, you want to have privacy there, but you make it light, you don't want to make it happy. That's where we came up with the style of like iron glass. So this is the gym. Transitioning the floor oh, as well. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the mirror. And then we did... This is fantastic. Uh, a wallpaper, you know, instead of using the steel plates, we just wanted to bring something fresh, something now. Even the tray ceiling in the gym, you know, we tried to capture any height that we could in this basement because we were struggling with the height. So we, we, wherever we can grab it, we did. And we created really two nice symmetrical tray ceilings in the gym right here. And then we did also, if you look at the trim, 
you know, the whole detail of separating the crown molding with the trim and still showing the wall color. Yeah. So um, to conclude, we, we also have a full bath. So if we, if we uh, go around the corner here, we can uh, bring you to that full bath. By the way, this became the utility room where we have everything, including the infrastructure for um, you know all the control systems for the TVs and stuff like that. So everything was in here, right adjacent to the bathroom. And you know we have a we have a full bath. And again, we designed the layout of the bathroom, and then that's where we stopped and Lulu took over, and she can walk you through the finishing here. So the palette here was to continue exactly what we were doing with the same palette here, but emphasize a different. Um, you know uh, specifics about the room without so this was the inspiration taking it from the floor from the wallpaper how do you replicate it the way we layered the tile we didn't want it to be too conventional so that's why we did it so that it looks more like uh, uh, wood and even with the stone the quartz that we chose and the granite that we chose the sconces i just needed something that created more interest you know, that is just unusual, you know, more of a conversational piece. Those are the sconces that I chose and uh, just to tie it in and bring in the high contrast again of the charcoal, the creams, the grays, you know, and all that, so. Yeah, guys, so just to, just to conclude, um, really what we're trying to emphasize here in this video is how important it is to have such a great design. And there's so much that goes into the design. I mean, I've designed 3,500 basements, but it, it kind of has a whole nother level when you get with a great interior designer that can pick out the right palettes and the right colors. And I just wanted to thank Lou for her time and an amazing job. Yeah, and uh, that's another thing that when you collaborate as a team and working together, it, we can make your space from ordinary to exquisite as a team. Thanks guys. Be sure to follow us on our YouTube, YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, all our social media will continue to post great content like this. Thanks. And please subscribe. <laughs>